con job if this has all been a lot of new information for you, then it might be useful to have a thumbnail sketch of the outrageous confidence trick which is being played on you. So, here it is for your local area, and the same situation is found in almost every other area as well. It all started before most people were born. It started with two brothers deciding to run a scam which would make them the richest people in the world and rig things so that everybody else worked for them without being aware of that fact. Even though they are literally brothers, in order to distinguish between them we will call them Mr. Government and Mr. Banker because that is what they needed to become in order to run this scam. Mr. Government set up a very clever system of interlocking commercial companies, choosing names for them which made them look like official government bodies, while in reality, they are just ordinary companies like any high street shop. In order to strengthen the illusion, Mr. Government hires people to work for him and gives them names like congressman or member of parliament or some other meaningless working title. He employs most of them to sit around and argue with each other, and from time to time, he swaps them around by asking members of the public to vote for who will be his employees for the next few years. This is actually very clever, because it makes members of the public believe that their voting makes a difference, while Mr. Government knows that it doesn't as he sets company policy, and he makes all of the decisions, and he really could tt care less who happen to be his employees at any given moment in time. Meanwhile, his brother Mr. Banker has set up two commercial companies of his own. One he calls the Federal Reserve or the Bank of England 58 Meet Your Strawman. Or some other suitable name for his particular location, and yes, there are actually more than two brothers in this family. The other company, he calls the Mint. He owns both and so decides exactly what each will do. The action starts and Mr. Government needs money with which to pay his employees, so he asks his brother Mr. Banker to provide some. This is where the fun part starts. Our trusty Mr. Banker invents the money and pretends that he has plenty although he actually has none. He lends a large amount, say, one million dollars to his brother Mr. Government. This costs him nothing as it doesn't even exist, and it is just the first step in the scam. His brother Mr. Government now says that he has a national debt of $1,200,000 which will increase by 20%, one-fifth, every year if it is not paid off completely. His cunning plan of calling it a national debt makes people think that their country owes somebody something. The reality is that nobody owes anybody anything. Good, isn't it? Very clever. Without using anything of any value, the brothers have persuaded people that, a, they have a government, which they don't, and, b, that their country has borrowed money for essential services so their country is in debt to some signedly lender, which it isn't. Very slick, these brothers aren't stupid, 